Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Shay Dairo. So today now in this video, I want to help you through how to use Alipay Tower Pass. I want to just give you brief knowledge or, or, or how will I put it safe. I want you to understand what really mean by Alipay Tower Pass. Why you need to use Alipay Tower Pass and how you should go about this to have Alipay Tower Pass. So uh, this video, I don't want it to be longer. I will try as much as possible best to give you the best explanation on how to make use of this. But for the purpose of a newbie or people that don't understand Alipay, not to talk of Alipay Tapas, you are just watching this video and say, Alipay, what is Alipay? Well, Alipay is an app developed by the Chinese community for the purpose of uh, making payment, receiving payment, and for international businesses, you can buy things from Chinese e-commerce sites and make payment through Alipay. So, that is why we are making use of, of Alipay for payment and receiving payments. So, but before you can get this full advantage of Alipay, you need to verify your account. And before you can verify your Alipay account, the only thing they require from you, could request for, requested from you is a, in, your international passport. So, if you have an international passport, you verify this within 24 hours. And when verified, the next thing is to fund your uh, Alipay account. You cannot fund your Alipay account, um, uh, Alipay account. Uh, with your own um, currency in your country, you can only fund it with a, a Chinese currency that is yuan. They spend yuan right in China. Now, how will you have yuan in this your uh, in this your account? Now, how will you have, have yuan in this your account? How will you do that? So that's when you you have two means of getting yuan to your account. One is to buy. Uh, from the Chinese uh, bank, that is, you will have bank account with Chinese, with Ch Chinese um, country. In Chinese now, you will have a bank account, which you will link to your Alipay account, and from there you can fund your Alipay account with yuan currency. That's one. Two, if you don't have bank account with China, well, with Chinese uh, as a country, you don't have bank account with them. Alternative is to make use of money exchangers. Your own now is just to buy yuan from money exchangers. Money exchangers will send sell Chinese yuan to you, and at the uh, they will give the exchange rate, which is higher than the normal standard rate, uh, standard exchange rate. For instance, maybe the standard exchange rate is uh, let's say seventy, uh, or let me say seventy to eighty naira per yuan. I'm using naira of Nigeria. That's my own currency. That we want to buy one yuan, now, they will tell you that you will pay, let's say, uh, 70 naira or 75 naira, right? But if you want to buy through money exchangers, now you know this is black, like black, you are black, buying from black market, you contacting someone that please sell this thing to me now. They will make they will charge you at the rate of maybe 90 or 90 something naira. Now, look at the difference 90 naira. For buying because because you want to buy one yuan they will charge you like ninety naira nine something. I'm talking as a today. Today what's today's day? Today is October fourth, twenty twenty one, right? Last two years wasn't like this. I, I think the equivalent the exchange rate from black market is obviously some maybe like fifty something naira per one yuan. But now they may be talking of ninety naira or such per one yuan. It might not be tomorrow. That's why I'm showing you the data. I'm making this video, right? Now, why do you that is not now? I'm going to I'm not we are driving to Alipay Tapas now. That this, this is where we are making use of Alipay Tapas or making use of the of the advantage of Alipay Tapas. That is when we understand the advantage of this Alipay Tapas. You know why? With Alipay Tapas now, we are given opportunity like uh, they consider international users, like maybe you 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 want to take some, have some benefits from China now. And you don't have back a council that you can buy uh, yuan, and uh, you want to buy one or two things from Chinese or things like from China or things like that. So that's why they are giving us the opportunity of this uh, Alipay Tapa, such that you can buy things using your local bank card from your country. Either you're from Nigeria, or you're from uh, um, uh, UK, US, Euro country, and uh, some of the part, uh, African part of the African country. Anywhere you are, you can make use of your local ATM card or bank card and buy things from China without stressing yourself about the about the uh, yuan or opening of the bank accounts in China. 
So that is why uh, we have the advantage of using this uh, tapas. So now I believe you understand the advantage of using tapas and uh, using a uh, normal Alipay account. So I'm still going details on this, but before going there, if you are very new to my YouTube channel, because here is where I make a lot of solutions that even some people that claim to collect money from you because that they will teach you, they may not even explain all to this. And uh, here you will get free information that you don't pay for. Free information you don't pay for that is going to be more valuable for you. So please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click here to turn up the notification bell. When turn up, select all so that you will be notified of my subsequent video uploads just like this. And do not forget to give me a like and leave your comment. Let me know what you feel about my videos. You can you feel free to click on this list and check my uh, previous videos. I make there are many things you will learn. You know, uh, information is power. It's just that's just what I want you to know. All right, let's go back to the business of the day. For most of you that have been subscribing, I've been sharing my videos. I really appreciate you guys. I love you. All right, now you understand Alipay. Now I think I've explained Alipay, real Alipay. Now we are coming to Alipay tapas. Now this is Alipay tapas. I'll give you the, the brief introduction to Alipay, then to Alipay tapas. Now, now. If you want to use Alipay Tapas now, because of the advantage of the exchange rates and advantage that you don't need to contact money exchangers before you can fund your Alipay account. So that's why you are making use of the Alipay Tapas. That is, all you have to do is just to bring out your local ATM card, bank card, add it to this account, verify the account, then fund it. Now, bank will do the exchange rate. This is now going to be standard exchange rate, which is going to be more, more, much more cheaper than using black market that is buying from money exchangers. So, you will have the difference of like 10 to 15 difference. Is it 10 to 15 uh, yuan difference or, or what? So, buy one yuan at the rate of uh, 90 naira and buy one yuan at the rate of a uh, uh, it's 70 something to 80 naira so you can see the profit you can see the difference there now so that is how you would also do this thing to your own country and see the difference now so the alipay tapa is simply the best now let's go to how to make use of alipay tapas is that you see if you if you're lucky i think it should be here i don't know but i can't just say if you open your app you will see it here as you can see now i point to this now it's there but let us know that you can't find it there. It's not showing the Alipay Tapa is not showing there. You just click on more here. When click on more, click on more. And when click on more, you can search for Alipay Tapa somewhere around here. I want this to load. So you can search for the app somewhere around here. See here? You can search for the any app you are looking for here. Let me let me let me try it. Let me try it. Uh, let me just type tapas and let's see if they will search and you see now this tapas so you can click from here now and the moment you click now eh, next time you come back you will see you will see it around here you will see it around here they, because they know that this is something you are used to but by default i'm able to see it here like this now so the first thing to do is here now is i will click the tapas here now, now I've clicked this tapas and let's see what will happen next. All right, so this is tapas now. You can read this please. Read it. See the step to use it now. Um, read this please. Alipay, uh, Alipay official. Support your card and refundable. See now. Verify your information. That's the first thing. Top up your money. That's the second thing. Use Alipay to pay. That is it. It's just very simple. Now, enjoy mobile payment in China. What is Tapa? Tapa is a service jointly provided by Bank of Shanghai and Alipay and operated by Alipay. It allows overseas Alipay users to pay with Alipay in Chinese mainland using the non Chinese credit or debit card. Simply find the Tapa's mini app in your Alipay app by searching. Submit the information needed to apply and it will be ready to be used after a successful top up. Now, the second one is a top top up limitation. Currently, you can top up as much as 10,000 yuan in Tapas. Once you reach this limit, you cannot top up. If you want to top up more, you can reactivate uh, after Tapas expires. There's more to this, which I will be explaining later, or maybe if you can just private chat me based on this. And um, all right, let's go to 
the process now the first thing to do is just to start by clicking use now button and if you have any problem with your tapas you have problem with it you can message you can uh, write them using this email address so based on your complaint because there are many complaints from different countries like that that you may encounter as from them they they are they are many they are maximum uh how can top up is ten thousand yuan but it now depends on your country uh, uh i mean the kind of atm bank you are using some country now they may limit you that it is uh, the limit you can use or whatever for instance now in nigeria now there are uh, according to the bank regulation now or something like that the there are limits in nigeria now i think maybe 500 yuan either per day or per month uh, for one account so you need to you need to examine this very well to understand from your bank as from them they are less concerned all they after is that you can only um make transaction of of ten thousand yuan using tapas are we using alipay tapas with that particular atm card i mean bank card you are using for tap tapas that is what con what concerns alipay but the only the challenge you may be having now may depend on your bank or your country or whatever things like that so i cannot test specifically but if you enroll to my course or uh, my mentoring class now you I, we, we may work together and help you through in some areas but as for this i think you should be able to make use of this information here also is very important so let's go back to the business now by clicking here uh use now so when I click on use now the first thing now is uh, uh verify your personal information here so i'll click on this uh, nationality this one click on this so to select my country now so my country is nigeria let me type nigeria all right I select Nigeria now so next thing so this one is for verification verify your personal information due to regulation your personal info is required to use this prepaid card all data is secure and protected so Nigeria now I will use my international passport that is the only thing they need right so this is all about international passports you want to use and there is one inform one hint I want to give you some do not have do not have an international passport if you do not have international passport you can make use of your friends relative family anybody that's ready to volunteer is or our own passport for you to use all that matter is the information requested from the passport here should uh, relate to the passport you are trying to use because look at this place now i said here see passport info pay take photo so every information you provide here should uh relate uh, should correspond with the passport information you you are providing now so make sure while filling this form the password you want to use let it be along with you one side and anything asked from you about the passport you can check it one side open the passport check it and be putting it there passport number name on passport and uh, expiring date then date of birth gender so information here is the information according to, to the passport you want to use not not compulsory to be according to the information that you, you are doing of the alipay no it's just information according to the passport you are providing to use so you can use a friend's passport anybody's passport passport to do this right so i i, I will leave this one now so i can do this later then after this one and the next thing is, is it, we are talking about the verification now here after this one and when done with this the next is select amount how much how much you want to how much you want to uh to uh, how much yuan you want to um fund to this alipay tapas right then after then it's payment they will deduct the amounts instantly and you see the amount uh they will deduct the amounts you are, you are you are buying the amount of yuan you are buying from your bank they will debit it and you will see it will reflect in your alipay account balance like this one now here you see you know you see my one is zero you see zero instead of zero now you see exact amount you are buying then you can able to calculate and know how much does this thing cost per one yuan in your country currency then you will also check how much what if you want to buy this thing from money exchangers then you will now see the opportunity of using alipay tapas because it, it is more very less when it comes to exchange rate because it's direct uh standard exchange rate so that's all about uh, that so let me go back to where i was uh, I, I pick um, Nigeria here, uh, selected Nigeria here, 
then passport information here um i i still changed my mind i don't want to do this one here for recording uh, for security reason so i don't want to take that risk now i have made a mistake ever when doing uh, screen recording like this and i don't have time for editing much so i will not put my data here all right let me just quickly give information about this now i've told you about most of these things make sure that all these are correct when inputting them so check the passport given you and if it's your passport check the, all the information and make sure you input it here correctly then regarding this one uh password info page uh, let me click it and show you something let me click it you see now they say please take the photos of your passport for security and normal use of service please make sure the photos are clear and correct you see now you know your passport see see as the thing is now so you have to make sure that the passport is well placed for uh for taking of the photo so that i can snap it and let it clear let it clear very well so that is all i have for you regarding this one if you want to you can upload the passports you click on this take photo and you we you will snap the passport and other things like that all right from here now the next thing as i told you earlier is select amounts you want to amount of yen you want to buy and they will debit your account then you pay i mean you pay so they will debit your account and the next thing is everything will reflect here you see it now so if you are complaining also this is the where you will contact no matter what you are facing you will matter what you are passing through if you have complaint this is the email you will contact even if you go to alipay live chat like i have video on that they will still refer you back to this except if you just need them to guide you like the one thing you don't understand they can listen. but if you have challenge you have problem with your uh with the use of your alipay tapas you have to mail them here so that is all i have for you regarding this one then one more thing do not forget uh you know here now you are not asked to add your bank card and they may ask if uh, you have not added bank card before they may add if you have not added bank card before in the process of topping up so uh if you are not asked from this process now if you are not asked to impute your bank card you may uh, be asked maybe here now let me click this place to show you something you will click me here and you see where they tell you to add bank card see see bank card see see bank card so here now if you add your bank card from here now by clicking this place uh add bank card so if done um perfectly if you don't know how to do that i have the video there on here so check and this is how to check my videos if you are not used to youtube you will click on my name here when click on my name then you will see uh my videos previous videos are made then you you can click here also here click videos so when click on videos or click playlist when click on playlist you know this is under um, importation or something like that so you will see many importation case studies then under many importation case studies here now when click you will see where i've made mention of how to add bank card great see see how to add bank card now so you see a lot of valuable information here now all right let's go back here so uh when added the bank card from here they may not ask you again when you are uh doing the alipay tapas something here now and if they ask you also no problem you know they change their style with time so what i'm seeing today may not be tomorrow as you're watching this video like i told you before i'm, I'm recording this video today october 4 2021 but the knowledge i'm giving you here now as if they do some slight changes now you will use your wisdom on little information i'm giving you to to cope with the thing and get it straight up without looking for somebody to help you out so either they ask you for the banker here or not they may ask if they ask you then put the bank card there that means local banker your atm card and if they don't ask maybe you have already imputed it here, here in the ad bank card stuff here so that is all uh do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel please once more i am sure you die row uh here i share a lot of valuable information there are more things coming to um this youtube channel there are many more things coming so do not hesitate and another thing that's very very important my videos any of my video make sure you always click here i used to hide some valuable contents at that description to this page like you want to connect with me on whatsapp you want to enroll for my course you want to everything about me or or about the app i'm talking about and many opportunity regarding that video make sure you always click here and check that is if you are using your, your mobile phone 
But if you are using your PC, you will see read more or somewhere uh, at the, uh, uh, below the video here. So if you click on this place here. When clicked, right, you will see information about the video and many other things. You can see download name from here now, which are download link. There are many opportunities in my description. Make sure you don't just omit it and go your way. Make sure you always open it. And I want you to join my Telegram uh, group. That's where my fan base. Check the screen to this video, check it down, 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 down. You will see the group to my Telegram where I have my fan. There we have some discussions. You, can, you have access to ask questions and I will respond to you. So thank you so much. I love you. Bye for now.